What's good with you guys today? It's your boy JB Lethal TV. And um, today I'm going to be reacting to um, the Texas school shooter. I guess he was identified a couple days ago. And um, I'm about to give my reaction and my thoughts on this whole situation. So let's go. And let's go to CNN senior investigative uh, correspondent Drew Griffin. Uh, now, Drew, Drew uh, tell us what you're finding out about the suspect. Obviously, he has a uh, a social media footprint, although not one as alarming as other school shooters that you've looked at in the past. Certainly not from the uh, the shootings that we've covered in the past. Nothing that stands out or glares out. A few things came up. We do know, apparently, from uh, other students, he wore a trench coat. He wore a trench coat every day. He wore that trench coat today, 90 degrees. That's how he was able to get the shotgun into the school. Uh, we also know, just from a couple of students, that he was quiet. But as the governor said, and as we found on his uh, Facebook page and other uh, social media before it was taken down, uh, this suspect really didn't have any warning signs, and as the governor called him, he was a clean slate. And, and Drew, moments ago, uh, we learned from authorities uh, that there may be, they're investigating at the very least, the possibility of accomplices. Tell us about that. Yeah, we do know that there was an 18-year-old uh, student who was uh, detained. According to the governor, the, that student acted suspiciously or acted strangely at the school after the incident was taken into custody. And then the uh, governor uh, referred to another uh, suspect, didn't give us any details on that, but it sounds like an investigative lead led them to that. One other thing the governor said uh, in response to a question, Jake, no reason to suspect any person other than the suspect in custody was involved in making those bombs. Demetrius Pogorci, 17, had scant details of his life on Facebook before the page disappeared, but this is what CNN was able to confirm before Facebook removed him from its platform. Pogorci says he started attending Santa Fe High School three years ago. He posted pictures of himself showing what appears to be a normal, nondescript high school student. But on April 30th, less than a month ago, he also posted this, a custom black t-shirt that says, born to kill. Indications are the shooter may have been wearing this t-shirt when he went to school this morning. Another post, a black duster jacket with Nazi, communist, fascist, and religious symbols. And under the name Kamikaze, Pegorchis posted three rap songs on YouTube. That is it. The rest, typical teen. A photo of typical him in a church teen. group. Wow. Other photos showing an average American. Average On his American. Facebook page, he showed interest in joining the U.S. Marine Corps starting in 2019, he wrote. Before high school, he attended Santa Fe Junior High, where he was listed on the sixth grade honor roll. He was mentioned as a standout player on the school's JV football team a few years ago, but that is it. Law enforcement tells CNN at this point they have no reason to believe he was... All right. Hold on. Wait. What did I say? Anybody's radar, and so far there is no explanation for why he would have done this. Wow. 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 That's all I can think of right now because I'm trying not to get pissed off. But first thing first, he was. They say he was an average American, and all this other bull crap that they're saying. And he was just a, a normal American, typical American, whatever they want to say. You notice how they said all these good things that he was? You know, like, he wanted to join the military. But how do they not see nothing wrong with someone saying, born to kill on a shirt? Born to kill. And then, what makes it even worse, he had a Nazi outfit. But he's just a normal American. This is what pisses me off, bro. Because if this was a black person, I don't care. I'm taking it there. If this was a black person and he shot up a school, he wouldn't be alive to go to trial. Like, if y'all not starting to see a pattern, then y'all are just blind. You guys are just straight blind. And anybody who tries to write on this comment or write on my comment section saying, oh, you're pulling the black card, bro, you're getting deleted. I don't care. This makes me so mad, bro. And y people always try to say, don't make this about race. How do we make it? Without, how do we do that? 
How do we do that? This young teen, whatever, he's in he's in jail right now or taking pictures. It's what I'm I'm so mad I can't even talk. He doesn't have a scar on him. He doesn't have not one scar on him. Y'all know if that was a black student. He's gonna be his face is gonna be messed up some kind of way. He's gonna be shot. But y'all want us to be okay with that. They had nothing but good words to say about this guy. But when it's a black guy who gets shot down on the street, he was a thug. He was a menace to society. He was this, he was that. If y'all not seeing a pattern in that, then y'all blind sheep. Man, you, you people, y'all need to wake up. Y'all need to really wake up and see what's going on, man. After just hitting all that, bro, it just made me... <sighs> How could you not be mad? How could you not be disgusted? How could you not be disgusted in this American system? They look at... It's so much terrorists in America. It's so many terrorists who are, who are Americans. Now, don't give me without the look. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if somebody is shooting up a school or putting bombs when people are doing marathon walks, isn't that considered a, ter a terrorist? Why don't they get looked at as terrorists? Please answer that question for me. Why are they just someone who, who's disturbed or. Someone going through a mental breakdown. Why is it that? But when a black man or somebody is resisting arrest, they're terrorists. They get murdered. I can't be the only one seeing this pattern. Y'all people need to wake up and stop thinking everything is right in this American system. Because it's not. It's not. Man, mm, 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 mm. I'm, 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 I'm angry, man. I'm angry with the American system. I'm angry with the way, how life is, man. And it's how the society is, man. The society is so backwards and screwed up. You always try to say, here goes another black man or a black woman pulling the, the race card. I hate that word, race card. So stupid. If y'all really know, y'all know, y'all aware of what's going on in society. But y'all, y'all don't want to speak on it. I'm done. I'm, I'm not, I'm not the one who's going to sit here. I'm not, I'm not afraid of anything, bro. Like, I'm not afraid of seeing the truth. I'm not going to just sit here and bow down to what this American system is doing to these black people. I'm not going to bow down and, and act like I'm just some slave. Who does, if, he, if I don't do the right thing, I get killed. I don't care. So be it. But I would not go out without fighting for the truth. I would not go out without fighting for my dignity, man. That, come on, man. This is this is on another level. It got me angry. I'm I'm really done talking about the situation. If y'all can't see it, if y'all gonna be blind sheep, I cannot. It's nothing I can do for you. But if you are watching my video, then come on, wake up, cause I'm not making no video just for you, just for your entertainment. I'm making a video so you can wake up. And I'm out, man. I'm done talking. The situation just got me mad. So I'm going to go on to another video or whatever I'm going to do in my um, YouTube. I'm, I'm just done right now.